Let's get ready to story. It was a very hot June day on a farm in Bradford County. A long time ago, I might add. My brother, who was 10, and I, who was seven, had just finished our dinner. And in 1954, you ate dinner at noon. You had supper in the evening. We had finished our dinner, and he and I decided we'd go to our local farm pond and have a swim. It was quiet because my dad, who was still living at the time, always took a nap after we ate. So Terry and I walked probably 600 yards to the farm pond with one inner tube. Neither of us could swim. I was seven, he was 10. We had a stake pounded into this pond, if someone did, and marked where you could go and where you shouldn't go if you couldn't swim. Somehow I got beyond that stick into the eight feet of water. My 10-year-old brother started screaming, and because it was quiet at my house, my mother heard the noise. She ran down through the pasture field as quickly as she could, and my neighbor, the other side of the pond, ran as quickly as he could. They met on the side of the pond, and my brother informed them that I had gone missing under the water. Well, as luck would have it, that one inner tube, my mother put over her body, she jumped in the pond. And as she floated around, she felt me floating down in that eight feet of water. Nobody in our family could swim. <laughs> my neighbor could swim underwater. And Luckily, my dad had brought the pickup truck because he was too sick to, to run down like my mother had, and he brought the hired man with him. And as people started to gather on this farm pond bank, I'm still floating around underneath. <laughs> and they all decided, how were they going to get me out of there? Well, the neighbor who could swim underwater did. And he felt me and pulled me out. And as I guess, as the story is told, my tongue was hanging out of my mouth, and I was very blue and very dead, they thought. <laughs> they proceeded to flop me on the mud, and the only person that knew anything about revival of anybody only had one arm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not making this up. <laughs> This can't be made up. <laughs> and he knew a little bit of what was called then artificial respiration. And he proceeded to pump me. <laughs> this seven-year-old in the mud. And at some point in time, I had grunted. And that was just enough for someone to flop me in the back of the uh, car, which there was no ambulance at that time. No one had time to call one anyway. And they ran me five miles to the nearest doctor's office and flopped me on his waiting room floor. And the only thing he had to help me is he knew to put a shot of adrenaline in my heart cavity. And I came back to life. After three days in the hospital, I was 30 years before I ate peas again, because we had had peas for our dinner that day. <laughs> and every time my brother ever got mad at me at that point on, he'd say, I wish I'd never shown anybody where you went down in that pond. <laughs> so that is my, if it doesn't kill you, this, this is my story.